hey what's up hello um it's been a while it has been a hot hot minute um i'm pretty sure this is gonna be crooked because i don't have good angles to film but it is fine um yes yeah, so i'm pretty sure this is crooked but it's cool um yeah so like i said it's been a while there are some changes that have been made um so i dyed my hair purple so that's fun um if you if you don't know me in real life then you probably don't know i don't think about anything that i do before i do it i just the mood strikes me and i just do it like so there was a day last week i went to pride this last weekend in detroit and that was so fun i really enjoyed it it was the first pride festival i've ever been to um but right before i went i was like you know what i want to do i want to dye my hair purple so I did, but not this purple. Um, I bought the really cheap hair dye and it literally just dyed the top of my hair. Like literally just like the top of my head. Like this like pink color that made it look like I had dyed my hair three weeks ago. And like, I was like, all right. So we can either just let it go away on its own it's 30 wash dye, but it's fine because it already looks so faded. And I'll just wear my hair in a bun for a month. It's fine. And then I was like, you know what I could do? I could just re-dye the whole thing with good dye. And so I went to Ulta and that's what I did. I bought good dye and then I came home and I spent the morning dyeing my hair. And so that's what we did. And I love it. I think it looks really cute. Um. I really enjoy it it's it's fun it's I like it so yeah um so where have I been nowhere I didn't move again I haven't been particularly busy I've just been kind of in a slump um I have been reading um I've been rereading Legacy of Kings by Eleanor Herman we match we're twinsies um for about a week now. Um, I wanna reread the whole series because the last book comes out in like two weeks. Uh, so I wanna reread the whole thing. I'm more than halfway through. I think I only have about 100 pages left. I absolutely am loving it. I think I love it more this time than I did the first time. This is one of my favorite series of all times. If you don't know what it's about, it is a historical fantasy novel all about a teenage Alexander the Great and it follows a whole diverse cast of characters um, and it's the magic is really cool I really enjoy that I really enjoy the historical elements and the mythology elements are very very cool um, the author Eleanor Herman is fantastic I love her so much um, I've met her one or two times I think um, she's so sweet I really love her um, but yeah it's <laughs> itchy yeah so that's what I've been doing. Um, I've been playing. I've been playing some video games. Um, I just downloaded Fortnite. Um, am I a real gamer yet? <laughs> uh, no, I downloaded Fortnite. Um, it's fun. I mean, it was a free download, so like, why not? Um, that's been fun. I've been playing Mario Kart. That's fun. I've been playing a video game, like a horror game based on Dante's Inferno. That's terrifying. It's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's it. We'll see. Um, yeah, is this gonna be the start of a new vlog? Yeah, probably. Is this a vlog style video? No. Do I have to leave my house in like 10 minutes to go teach? Eh. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to like update you because like it'll, by the time this goes up, it'll probably have been two weeks since I posted a video. So yeah, that's it. That's what I've been up to. That's what I've been doing. Um, yeah. Hey, what's up, hello? Um, it's Friday. It's about 9.30. Um, I'm just hanging out. I've been splitting my night between playing, between playing my Switch, um, <laughs> Halen well met my dudes, am I right? <laughs> and reading Empire of Dust by Eleanor Herman. Um, 
I'm about halfway-ish. Halfway-ish through that. I finished Legacy of Kings, which is the first book. This is the second book. Um, I finished it when I was at work today. Um, it's been a really long day. I went into work at like 6 this morning and then I got off at 5. Um, so it was just a really long day at work and then so yeah, I've just been kind of splitting my time between video games and books and it's a good life choice, you know, <laughs> you know. Um, I think I'm gonna go see Incredibles this weekend with one of my friends, so I'm really excited. But yeah, just thought I'd update you guys. Um, so I gave Legacy of Kings, I gave it a five star, even though it took me a while to get through. The first time I read it, it also took me a while to get through. Um, I think it's just kind of a, I'm very shaky, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, I think it's just kind of a slower paced book. And so like, I don't know, like it didn't really take anything away from it, like for me anyway. Um, but I really enjoyed it. I know like I was looking on Goodreads after like I rated it and stuff. And like, I think it, it like doesn't do well on Goodreads. I think it has like a 3.6 rating, which is like not good. Um, and like everybody's like, oh, it's so tropey, like the romance is trash, like, but like, in my mind, like, it's the first installment. Like, I don't really see the tropes. Like, there is really no romance in the first one. Like, there's hints, like little, you know, like, little sprinkles of romance. Um, but like, I don't really see it. Um... I'm biased though, like I really love this series, this is one of my favorite series, um, but I just, I think people are too hard on it for being the first book in a series, um, because I've read a lot of books that are first in the series that are way, way, way tropier and insta-lovey and trashy romance, they all have way more of that than Legacy of Kings does. I don't know, that's just my hot take. So, yeah, 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 it's been a day. I don't look cute. It's fine. Um, your girl probably sprained her knee at work today, so that's fun. Um, I'm in a lot of pain. That's real good. I went to the doctor, um, I got a brace, so we're gonna see how the brace, icing, lots of ibuprofen. We're gonna see how that stuff helps. Um, but yeah. Um, probably some of like the worst pain I've ever felt, which sucks. Um, I can't really walk, which also sucks because I literally walk everywhere. Like I don't have a car. I walk everywhere or I take the bus um, or I walk to get to the bus. So that kind of sucks. Um, I'm limping literally everywhere. I have this giant black brace I have to wear. So it's been a good day. So I've set myself up in this nice little corner at the cafe in the bookstore that I love to go to. Um, I'm reading Empire of Dust, still, by Eleanor Herman, which is the second book in the Blood of Gods and Royals series. series. Um, spoiler alert, I forgot that Akis was a spy and that he was set to kill her. Like, I forgot that that was like a plot point and so like I read it again and I was shook. <laughs> um, yeah, no. Uh, update on my knee. It still really hurts. Uh, but I have a brace. I went to the doctor. I have a brace. Um, and yeah. So it's getting better. It's just a sprain, the doctor said. So that's good. Um, but it's supposed to be like, it was like 10 o'clock this morning and it was already 90 degrees. So I, my house doesn't have air conditioning. Um, so I decided to come here and spend my day at a place with air because I was gonna die otherwise. Like I was like standing at the bus stop and just like sweating profusely. It was an actual issue. But this isn't public so it's awkward.
It was a little rainy outside. I got caught in it walking back from work. Um, so now I'm making pancakes. Um, I had my copy of The Queen of the Tearling, which is a book that I'm reading now. I'm like 60-ish pages in. It's confusing. If anybody knows what's going on, let a girl know. Um, but that got a little wet, so that's kind of sad. So it's drying out in front of a fan right now. Um, and I'm making pancakes for dinner, so yeah. Who needs reading when you have video games? Ooh. Not me. Ah, uh, it's a problem. Good morning. It's actually not really morning. It's like 11, but that's okay. Um, so I have work in a few hours, um, but I just thought that I would spend the rest of the time that I have off, um, cleaning up my room because it's a disaster zone um so yeah so i thought that that's what i would do i didn't really get any reading done yesterday uh but i did go see the incredibles 2 which was so good i loved it so much there were so many funny moments like jack jack fights a raccoon and like honestly that scene was so much longer than it like needed to be but like i loved every second of it and like if they would just make a whole movie of that like i would go watch it you know um one complaint what did they do to my home guy tony like i will insert screenshots of like tony reidinger from the first movie and then tony reidinger from the second movie because he's different they literally just replaced him like i'm so confused it's fine though um so yeah um Also, my copy of The Queen of the Tearling, it was in my backpack and I got caught in the rain the other day. And so like, it's a little, it's a little hurting, but it's still readable. So I'm kind of sad, but it's okay. Um, I'm about this far in and I'm confused. I don't really know what's happening. Um, I don't know if this is supposed to be like purely a fantasy world or if it's supposed to be like fantasy that's kind of in our world but like kind of not like alternate history like I don't really know so we'll see we'll see but yeah <clears throat> good afternoon it's like 12 30 um I just woke up like an hour ago I did some yoga um it was really nice um, my knee is still a little iffy, um, so that was interesting, but now I'm going to make some breakfast. Um, I have to leave for work in like an hour and 45-ish minutes, um, so I'm gonna hang out and get some breakfast, and yeah. Today I work, I work for a few hours and then I have a couple hour break then I go back and then I work all night tonight. Um, so that'll be interesting. So I'm hoping to get a lot of reading done and a lot of my Game of Thrones rewatch done because I started rewatching it. I am three episodes into the second season. Um, I love it. I love it. I love it. Daenerys is the Mad Queen. She's so problematic. She went psycho after her husband died. It's cool if you want me to make like a my thoughts on Game of Thrones video, like let me know because like that would be really fun, but like I don't know if people would watch it. Um, yeah. Hello, um, it is Sunday night. I am eating dinner, lunch. I just woke up because last night I worked an overnight shift. Um, I worked from 9 last night to 10 this morning, um, and so I'm like so tired, exhausted. I'm about to go back for another like 4 hours, um, make that sweet sweet green. Um, yeah, but I just wanted to officially end the vlog, um, I'm about 100 pages into Queen of the Tearling. It's making a little more sense, but like, your girl is still low-key confused. Um, so yeah, 
but like I just wanted to officially end the vlog and so I this is it um so I'll see you guys next week bye